1995, a curious fellow by the name of Mike Markham attempted to build a time machine in the porchway of his home in Stanbury, Missouri. His invention consisted of a mysterious machine with inner workings he had concocted in his mind, all centered around an electrical Jacob's ladder. His device used a modified compact disc laser, which reduced air resistance between the two poles, although it included an unusual arc when turning on the device. There was a heat anomaly created, appearing in a circular vortex-like form. After documenting this, he decided to throw a small metal screw at the anomaly to see the effect. He claims that he witnessed the object disappear for about a half a second, then reappeared a few meters away. With the help of donations, his next project was to make a larger, more powerful machine one capable of allowing himself to attempt a plunge into the anomaly himself. While the original engine ran at a kilowatt, this machine was designed for 3 megawatts. Also, Markham installed a rotating magnetic field, similar to those used by the U.S. military in the Philadelphia experiment. He believed that the rotating magnetic field was more effective and efficient. His undertakings, predictably gained public notoriety, and he had appeared in the media discussing his invention and indeed intentions. Art Bell had Mike on twice. In the later interview, Markham claimed to be experimenting with a more sophisticated machine, going on to state that the electromagnetic vortex was now big enough for a man to walk into. Then, in 1997, he disappeared and was never seen again. Interestingly, people who have been fascinated by this story, its series of events, and Mike himself dug into death records and finds that could have been connected to him indeed traveling through time, specifically into the past. One in particular was a find made in the 1930s. A man was found on a Florida beach crushed to death and surrounded by a strange, futuristic-looking metal device. We find the entire series of events, Mike's disappearance, and indeed the machine itself, highly compelling. <laughs>